You're listening to the Laura London Fitness Show with your host, Laura London. All right, everybody, let's get this interview started. I have Nisa Salas from Nisa Salas Fitness. Hi, Nisa. How are you? Hi, Laura. I'm doing awesome. Thank you. Oh, good. Nisa and I have tried to get this interview done so many times already. So we are just dying to, to finally get this done, get it out to you guys, because I know Nisa has so much to share. <laughs> right? You're, 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 she looks so cute in her Got Muscle shirt. Oh, thank you. All right. So, Nisa, why don't we start? Why don't you tell everybody a little bit about yourself and your your journey up until today? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, in a nutshell, um, I'm currently a school teacher, yeah. and I have taught for I taught for seven years, and then. Uh, in 2008, I required a break from my job because it was very stressful, and I had developed a sickness or an illness that I kind of put off, and I pretty much, for the most part, thought I could heal it by myself, and inadvertently made a lot of mistakes with my nutrition, and I didn't work out, I didn't exercise. And I needed to have a major operation. So I'll let the listeners know, or the viewers know, that I had a fibroid uterus, which means that I had benign tumors in my uterus that actually grew big. Mm -hmm. right. So um, I learned the hard way <laughs> that I needed to take better care of my body. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the reasons why I'm so passionate today about my personal fitness and the fitness of other people. Yes. So she, she's being modest. She's being humble. <laughs> she had a 10 pound tumor in her belly. Yes. And, I mean, she, her story is amazing. She's going to tell us a, a little bit more about that. Uh, <laughs> just, I can't even tell. She has been through so much. She inspires and motivates me to mm -hmm. no end, and what she has accomplished in this past year is really amazing. So tell them a little bit more about this 10-pound tumor. <laughs> well, um, basically, I was got married in 2002 to my husband, and about six months later was told, and I was 28, so I was told by a doctor that had a pretty rough bedside manner that she needed to operate on me like then and there. Scary. And with, yeah, that was scary to me because I would have thought from woman to woman she would have kind of nurtured me a little bit or given me more background or encouraged right. me to operate and to make me feel safe maybe. Right. You know, support me. Um, she just kind of treated me kind of gruff, kind of rude, and um, I walked out of her office and never walked back. Um, my fibroid tumors were kind of, she explained that they were inside my uterus, they were actually in the lining of the actual muscle of the uterus, and that some were actually hanging on the outside of the uterus. So when I walked away from that experience, I just, I was like, you know what, I'm not going back to the doctor ever again. And I kind of did some informal research on the internet that I could lower my estrogen level and shrink the tumors. And I was able to kind of accomplish that. I'd shrink them uh, by eating like organic foods and more fruits and veggies and things like that and exercise. And then I ended up, at, you know, after a, a I, I reduced my personal weight to thir by 30 pounds. Excellent. And I noticed my belly shrink. So informally, I assessed that I had started curing myself right and then after all that happened um, rather than I don't know maybe I should have gone back to the doctor had another test or something and kind of assessed from there with the doctor um, I just kind of stayed away from the doctors and regrew that mass and held on to it which you know sometimes um, I have family members that prefer not to go to the doctor when they're sick Right. You know, they're just like, oh, I'm not going to go. And that could be one of the most devastating things a person can do. And I learned the hard way. Right. So I carried this 
pregnancy looking fake belly thing <laughs> and um you know I you know I don't know I don't know how I did it or why I did it but I just had this I must have had to go through this journey of sorts yeah. spiritually I became very centered but physically I was very ill yes so yeah. my yeah. husband was scared to death and he was a great person but he was like Wow, you know, I don't know how he did it. We'll have to do an interview with Mark one day. Oh, definitely, definitely strong man, strong yeah. man. Yeah, very um. strong man. So eventually, I ended up having to operate um, the belly, and the tumors took so much of my nutrition that the rest of my body, my muscles, I had no muscle tone. I was anemic. This mass completely consumed my nutrition as if it were an actual baby. Right. Um, at one point, I would measure myself. At one point, my girth was 37 inches. Wow. That's around. A big, it's a big waist for, yeah, a tiny yeah. girl, actually. Yeah. Theoretically, I would have been like a size 9, 10. Mm -hmm. And here I had this huge mass. Mm -hmm. And um, in February of 2010, I decided to operate. During that operation, five doctors cut me open and removed the 10-pound fake baby, I call it. Mm -hmm. um, I almost died that night, so mm -hmm. I ended up losing a lot of blood, and I required eight pints. Wow, it's a lot of blood. It's a lot, lot of blood. blood. <laughs> yeah. It's it's kind of surreal to talk about it now, but it's it's a healing experience for me to say, oh my gosh. Okay, so the question is, um, how do I carry about the rest of my life? I have choices now. I had choices then, and I have choices now. So right. at the time I operated, I was thirty-seven. Excuse me, 35, right. and now I'm, yeah, and now I'm 37. So it's kind of like, okay, do I want to keep being so negative and holding on to negative thought patterns and running away from doctors when I get sick and trying to address my own illnesses um, with lack of information? And um, I, I don't know. Do I want to continue that or do I want to be the best me I can be? Mm -hmm. So the answer is the option B. Mm -hmm. You know. Where do you go when you, yeah, when you hit rock bottom, where can you go from there? Right. Hopefully up, right? Right. And I, I prayed to God in the hospital because I ended up having a partial hysterectomy, which mm -hmm. means they removed my left ovary and my uterus. Mm -hmm. um, and I had a choice as I'm, you know, doused with medicine and I haven't eaten for two days because I'm fasting for the operation. And. I, I could go on and on, but I'm writing a book called From Sick to Sexy, and everyone can read about that. Um, it will be wrapped up probably in the next month. Woohoo! Can't yeah. wait for that. And I'll have photos. You're not going to believe these photos. They're amazing. I, I, I got the, the pleasure of seeing, and people are really going to be amazed. I mean, really, what you have been through it was life changing. I mean, a life changing experience. We met a year ago. Really, a year ago, almost to the date, at um, the JNL Fusion World Conference last year in Miami, and Nisa, I'm not sure how much heavier you were the day I met you than what you are now, um, but she sat next to me. She was quiet. She was meek. She was like taking everything in, and I don't know. We connected. Our hearts went out to each other, and. Since that time, you've, you've lost the weight, you've become a personal trainer, you, you had great experience moving up the ladder in um, the health and wellness field, you have your own website, I mean, and you are the JNL Fusion Weight Loss Success Story of the Year. So share some of that with everyone. Yeah. You just oh my gosh. Well, once you hit rock bottom, hopefully you go up. You don't stay in that little sinkhole. So in the hospital, as I, you know, I'm split from here to here. I've got this huge scar. I just prayed to God, and I said, number one, God, I am so sorry, so, so sorry from the bottom of my heart that I jacked with this body that you gave me. It's a gift, yeah. and I took my body for granted, and I pretended to be my own doctor, and, you know, I said, I'm so, so, so sorry. I'm never going to do this again. You know, I want to live, and I want to really live. So, and then I said, you know, God, I really have a request. And, and I, I felt like he was talking to me, and he was. It was like, okay, well, what do you want? And I answered with, I want to be a bikini model. <laughs> <laughs>
love it. And then part of me was like, a bikini model? Well, first of all, you got the scar. <laughs> okay, so how's that going to happen? And second of all, you've never been in shape your entire life, you know, been underweight, overweight, sick, back to overweight, what's going to happen next? So, you know, all those negative things came back and then it just something inside of me, God said, you know what, let me handle all the details. Let me handle the scar issue. And, and it, he said, well, what do you want from me? And I said, well, God, I need friends in the fitness industry. <laughs> Boy, Judy, he sent you friends in the fitness industry. <laughs> he answered my prayer. Um, I I finished uh, healing. It took a little while, six weeks. And I went back to my job at the time. I had taken a demotion from teacher to substitute. And I was at that time working on my master's to be an administrator. Let me turn this off here. And so anyways, um, I did all that. And I graduated 10 months after that operation, which ended up being December of 2011. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I still had this thing in the back of my head that God was going to help me out, become a bikini model, competitor, et cetera, et cetera. And I would visualize that periodically. You know, mind you, I'm getting ready to get my degree to be an elementary school principal. Right. <laughs> okay. It's kind of like... Yeah. God has his ways or, you know, whoever you consider your, you know, spiritual power. So to me, it's God. And um, sure enough, I was connected on Facebook to Jennifer Nicoli, and she put out this call for trainers of something called JNL Fusion Master Certification. Well, the first time I thought, there it is. That's what I need. And then I got scared, and I closed up Facebook, and I prayed. And I said, God, if I'm meant to do this, then in about a week, give me a sign. So sure enough, a week later, I didn't see the, the Facebook message emailed to me until a week later. And I said, do I do it? And I said, yeah. So I graduated December 15th, 2011. And January 1st, 15 days later, I got the message from Jennifer Nicoli that I was chosen to go to Miami <laughs> and to certify under her in some weird training method I'd never heard of. I was like, this is a mouthful. <laughs> and I just was like, you know what? I don't know if I'm going to become a trainer. That sounds in Intimidating, never done this before, and I'm a size right. at that time. I blew up to a size 18. Right, right. Post operation. Okay, so we went to Miami. I met this beautiful person named Jennifer who wasn't just on a magazine cover anymore, she had a pulse. <laughs> She had a warm, friendly smile, and she just embraced me as a person, as the way I felt. Mm -hmm. And then I was just put in this room with all these wonderful, beautiful women that, first of all, number one, I was a little intimidated, I'm not going to lie, <laughs> but not one of you ladies, you know, looked down upon me, made me feel uncomfortable, and yourself, like I said, like you said, we sat next to each other, and um, as, as you thought I was warm, the same I felt for yourself, I was like, oh my gosh, this lady is so nice, and I didn't know that you were in all these magazines, and it didn't matter, because you were Laura, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You were Laura, mm -hmm. you know. If I had known that moment you were in a magazine or one or two or on stage somewhere, I would have been like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm, I'm nobody next to this lady. But you just you just breathed warmth and acceptance. So thank you. Thank you for that. So here we are at the JNL Fusion, the first certification program in Miami. I'm a size 18. I get up there, and Jennifer's like, tell your story. I was like, my story, my tumor story? She's like, yeah. And I'm like, I had, to be honest with you, had not cried. Even before, during, or after the operation, I had not cried. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Until I got up there with a microphone. <laughs> I was like, ah! Microphone has a way of making us women just spill it all. Oh, my gosh. Um, apparently, that's what I needed because that, along with the training itself, the connecting with yourself and Jennifer and Uni, even Willie, you know, just amazing, supportive, wonderful people that just embrace the newbies yep. and the ones that are from a different career field. And so just I thank all of you. And I know that the newer girls that certified this year feel the same about even now for myself. So if I can impart the same friendliness. Yeah. Then I'm I'm glad. Awesome. Great. So yes. I ended up coming back to my hometown of Dallas with this book and I just decided I was gonna do it. 
She did it. <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> she really did. I did. And that was before the DVD was even filmed. Right. Right. All I had was a book. I and remember you doing videos of you working out with Fusion in your kitchen. It was great. <laughs> it's like a yeah, I, classic. I, I had this round face, and I was like, the only thing I could do to motivate myself was, number one, stick with the workout, okay? I had two dumbbells I had bought at Walmart. Mm -hmm. um, I was in my kitchen, because that's where the tile floor is. I can't work out on carpet. Right. And I had this book, and I thought, okay, how am I going to do this? I don't have Laura to check in on me every day here, or Uni, or JNL. And I said, you know what? I've got this flip camera. So once I'm done with my workout and I'm sweaty and got my red face and hot and hair everywhere, I'm going to film myself talking to my friends about how it went. Mm -hmm. So that's where the madness began. So tell us from, from there up until today, what, I mean, it's amazing what you have accomplished. Oh gosh. Um, my substitute teaching assignment ended last May. So basically when school is not in session, a substitute does not work and does not get paid. Right. So I was like, oh gosh, it's the end of April. I need to do something here. I need to pay bills. Hey, I've got this certification. And so I did. I walked into, I was turned down twice and it was heartbreaking. I walked into the local YWCA mm -hmm. and they kind of looked at me as if I was a joke. <laughs> and I kept saying to myself, you know what? It's okay. They don't know what I'm worth. They don't know what I'm made of. They don't know what I'm, you know, of course, I was heavier than I was about 160 pounds mm -hmm. to my now 140. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I walked into another gym and they just kind of, oh my gosh, the manager was so rude. Okay. And so I just kept going and I You're went lost. to, well, watch this. This is the funny part, Laura. That, and I'm not going to name the gym. I'm going to be very professional. I won't say their name. Okay, so let's call it the gym. I went to the, another branch of that gym, and they hired me on the spot, mm -hmm. trained me as a trainer, but did not give me very good sales experience, mm -hmm. and I was on pure commission. I didn't make any money for about three weeks, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I stuck with it. I said, you know what? I believe in Jane Fusion. Mm -hmm. I believe in myself, right. my fitness, and I was heavier than I am now, mm -hmm. and one day, the um, person in charge of the professional training department over the entire gym uh, chain, right. he walks up to me and he was like, you know what? I want you at the other location. Guess right. where he sent me? Where? To the gym that I started out at where the guy was rude. <laughs> I love it. Love it. Yeah. And Great. so here I am with this general manager that initially was rude to me when I walked in and I go in. <laughs> I'm a Taurus. I was born in May. Me that means... That means when I do something, I really go, and I don't yeah. let anything stop me. Laura, yep. you were born in May. Yep, we're tough. Uh, I was just like, you know what? It doesn't matter how many people knock me down or think that I'm not worth it or et cetera, et cetera. Look at my body and notice I'm a little chunky. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to do it. So I was sent back to the original gym. I walked in there. They trained me really well, my, uh, my manager. Okay, so in the month of May, I probably brought in $200 in sales in personal training. Mm -hmm. But in June, mm -hmm. I brought in $15,000 in personal training by myself. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Single that's hand amazing. Thing. So I repeated that. Did I make $15,000? No, but I sold that for the right. gym. And right. Unfortunately, I got a very small chunk of that. But in July... I did the same thing. I sold fifteen thousand mm -hmm. dollars, so they were excited. They were like, yeah. "Wow!" They promoted me um, to assistant manager over the personal training department, mm -hmm. and so in August, I sold twelve thousand dollars by myself, and then they promoted me to supervisor <laughs> over my own department at a new location. Wow, that's amazing! So it was just woo woo woo, and it was all Jano Fusion. Mm -hmm. That's all I trained with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, I went from a size 18 to a 4'6", Laura. Wow. Whoa, that's... Yay. <laughs> see? And it's because, you you know, you believed. You believed in yourself. You, you had this drive. You had a passion. I always say we, everyone has all they need within them. They just have to believe and, and move forward and do it. You know, step out of that comfort zone like you did. And and look 
I mean, she is a JNL Fusion Weight Loss Success Story of the Year. It Thank was such you. an honor at the conference, and she gave a, a speech to everybody. It was a wonderful speech about her, her story and her journey and how she got to where she, Nisa is today. And she's just full of love and inspires so many. Nisa, tell everyone where we can find you on the Internet. Okay, I'm at www.nisasalas.com. That's N as in Nancy, I, S as in Sam, S as in Sam, A, S as in Sam, A, L as in look, A, S as in Sam. My email is nisasalasfitness at gmail.com. So, and I'm all over Facebook. I think I've got like four or five pages. Yeah, she does. She does. So, just me, I've got four of just Nisa Salas and then one Nisa Salas Fitness. But I just want to say, um, the actual gym I was working for didn't really appreciate me. And they paid me less than what they told me they were going to pay me. Mm -hmm. And worked me way entirely too long. So I did something I, I didn't think I would do. I stepped back into the classroom, which I do love teaching. But my passion is fitness and changing the lives of the parents mm -hmm. and the children. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm building up my Nisa Sauce Fitness Company. Excellent. And I just signed on two new clients in the last two days. Congratulations. That's excellent. Mm -hmm. So That's along great. with From Six to Sexy, which is my book, get ready to hit the, you know, hit the scene. Yeah. I'm going to do an audio version of that and an ebook version as well as a hard cop, you know, copy version. Um, I'm also going to run a boot camp this spring called Walk Your Talk. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm excited. I think I have to get to Texas to walk my talk. Hey, I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, just little projects in the future. But um, I just pray that, you know, everything that I went through, it was for a reason. And that I can show other people, but more specifically women, mm -hmm. that, you know what, we're used to doing for others. Yes. You know, we're used to working with either our, you know, significant other, our children, our parents who sometimes at certain points are aging. And sometimes we completely forget about ourselves. Yeah. But how good are we? How good are, are we to help other people if we can't even take care of us? It's very true. We, we tend to get lost as women with all that we do and all the responsibilities. And everybody else comes first and we come last. But we have to realize that when we take care of ourselves, we, we have more to give. I mean, we just do. And, and it just makes everything function better, work better, and we're happy. And that's how everyone should be happy. Life is that's what I agree. Not to be happy. I think, and I love your mentality, Laura. Um, when I was growing up as a kid, the women that took care of me were in their 30s, and their 40s and their negative mindset of their own bodies and their own lives, you know, kind of, it, it brainwashed me. And I thought, you know what, the closer I get to 30, oh my gosh, I'm getting old. Oh my gosh, my life is ending. Right. You know? And then I see yourself and Uni, oh my gosh, the two of you are just <laughs> a force. I'm I'm like, fun. Oh, wow, you mean I can still dream? I can still hope? I'm 37. Yeah. I'm like two and a half years from 40. And Baby. These, I know these vibrant, wonderful people are just inspiring me. So, you know, thank you to you and just being that light because, you know, life is a gift. And as long as we're alive, why don't we live? Yeah, live it, live it to the fullest, really. It is such a gift. And unfortunately, People sometimes, a lot of times, don't realize it until their life is almost taken away or they have some tragedy happen, you know. And I'm hoping that we can get it out there that people shouldn't have to be in that position or wait that long mm -hmm. to take control of their health and, and their life and their life. So thank Absolutely. you so much thank for you. sharing your story with us. I know everyone's looking forward to the to the book, the ebook, maybe a movie one day. Who knows? Oh. I wouldn't doubt it from Nisa. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. That would be awesome. But let me tell you what, my whole goal is to revolutionize the fitness industry in the state of Texas. Yeah, go. Go yes. for it. The JNL of Texas. Thank you. That's what I call myself. I'm just, you know what? I'd love to do international. I'd love to do the entire nation. If I could just save my, my you know, my brothers and sisters and, and, you know, the people that are in my community in Dallas, Texas, and kind of spread out from there. Texas is a big place. 
Yep. And we've got a lot of sick people, so, you know. Yes. and Got to take I, care of these people. I always say, by you helping one person, they in turn help someone else, and it's just a ripple effect across the world, right? <laughs> and with the internet, like it, you're in Texas, I'm in Florida right now, and look, we're talking to each other, and millions of people are going to be listening to this, so mm -hmm. it's all a great thing. So to wrap it up, these are my two badges from my certification. Love it. Second yeah. year Fusion Second Master year. Trainer. Second right. year. Nisa, thank you so, so much for sharing your story and everything that you're doing with us. Love you to death. Love you. We finally got the interview done. I'm so happy. <laughs> All right. So. Thank you. Tell everyone a, a goodbye or a final word. Goodbye and take care of yourselves and keep an eye on. I'm doing some craziness. I'm trying to walk my talk. So guess what? I joined the Metro Dash February 19th in the Dallas area. We're doing a co-worker and I are doing some obstacle racing and oh my gosh, some craziness. And then we're doing something called the Warrior Dash April 22nd. Oh, yeah, that's a crazy <laughs> one. I know the Warrior Dash. Well, good luck with that. Uh, we'll have to do an interview after that one. Definitely. Yes, and the JNL Fusion DVD series is getting ready to hit the market. Please know that it changed my life. This 30 minute, six day a week workout in my kitchen with two very inexpensive dumbbells from Walmart That's transformed good. my physical level of fitness. I have more strength, stamina, endurance, yes. and stability as well as flexibility. Yes. That now I'm doing obstacle races. So That's great. I Thank love you. it. Thanks All right, for, sweetheart. Thank you so much, and we'll see you again soon. Awesome. Take yeah. care. Bye-bye.